Hi everyone, my name is Sophia. Now today I'm going to be talking about um, mainly about your person, but it's to do with you, but also to do about the kind of what you associate to be the drama. Now, um, obviously, if you've watched me, you always hear me say there's everything for a reason. And I think you kind of know that anyway, but there's more so to do with this um, being a twin flame. So I'm going to go into uh, kind of in and out. I haven't got really uh, a script. I never do really kind of what comes to me. I wasn't going to do this video today. There's going to be another video afterwards, so please watch that. Um, I just want to state quickly, which I'm going to say in my other video as well. Um, Valerina, Val, not my first Val, this is <laughs> Valerina. She's um, sent me some pictures about her journey. So drawings, I'll put it as a header. So I just wanted to say thank you. I'm going to change it. Just give me some others. Um, and I kind of put it up there without asking her. So hopefully she's all right with it. <laughs> so um, I, I just felt them. Because it's heartfelt when you're drawing. She says she draws while she um, listens to my audios, videos. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Wow. So anyway, I stuck it up there because I felt that. So I put it up there. So anyway, I'm going to jump straight in with this one. Another video. The next video, I'm going to talk about you guys a bit more from what you put in the comments. Because I'll tell you in the next one. Anyway, the drama. Now, <laughs> it's... I've put it within the title as, you know, the masculine, the drama. Now, they have their role. They're kind of like their um, work, their mission as such, is to be more third dimensional than you. And I cuss you lot saying, come away from 3D, come away from this um, um, perception of reality, which is... Um, twisting how humanity is supposed to live. Now, um, I, I put in the video before this about David Icke, I'm going to put it in this one as well. You need to watch the seven-hour video about how you live. That's absolutely important. Then you'll understand what I'm talking about, third dimension. Because all the tarot readers, all twin flames, 3D, 4D, when I first started and I didn't you know, channel the stuff, or I, I think I might have been channeling in, but I didn't know I was. But anyway, I used to think, oh, what are the 3D, 4D, what are they on about? That's why when you buy a reading, I give you the kind of definitions of 3D, 4D, 5D. Because of you're from 4D upwards, <laughs> which is just high consciousness. It doesn't mean you're like flying. Well, you know, it's just like you live from your higher consciousness and from within. That's what they mean when they say that. And that's really important. Your person is doesn't really get that. Totally is in the rat race, you Illuminati bubble. Let's put it that way. And I'm not cussing them or saying anything bad. There's a reason for it. You're the leader because if you're a guy or a woman, and I've had a couple of guys leave comments, which I'm going to say in another video, you have balanced out, if the guys have balanced out the feminine more, which is brilliant, because that normally um, happens later, um, um, when you work on yourself, then they reflect and they um, align with you, so that's when they pick up their more feminine energy, and that's when they start opening up more, but um, with your person, they're more third dimensional, now, the reason for that is because you are the leaders and you are here to, um, I don't know how else to say it, salt planet Earth. <laughs> now, I'm going to, like I said, you need to watch the David Icke because when you watch the David Icke, you will recognize how important you are and why you have so much drama. You are actually going without physically attacking because people state that you know if you're angry against something you get back anger and it's right you know if you if you're shouting and you're literally um uh, aggressive against something you, you know it bounces back to you what you are doing is addressing the elite the secret societies, the Illuminatis, 
the people that control and manipulate planet Earth on a kind of internal frequency. So you're not addressing them um, confrontationally. The elite, the secret societies, the Illuminatis have been around from way back. And they, like I said, if you watch the David Icke, you perceive your reality to be what it isn't. The, um, the eye frequency is so um, small, what you see into your reality is un it's unreal. Um, David like pinpoints exactly that I can't remember what he says. What's around you is completely you have no idea. What you see in reality is not what it is. Now the drama is because you are doing such a fucking massive task. It's it's so hard, you know, if you look at me now. And people ask me, you know, strangers, you know, what do you do? Just for me, now, today, to say I'm a tarot reader, it's like they look at me weird. Let alone you saying that I'm here to raise the frequency on planet Earth because everyone's living third dimension or I'm trying to get them to live internally to raise their consciousness. You're going to have shit. <laughs> And the only way how we can kind of, we, I say the higher consciousness, because we, we are all one, for you to deal with that is not to give you someone that you hate, is for you to have that pull. The pull, the push and pull, the bond from someone that you have a deep love for, so that you don't come away from it. If they were a soulmate and they had the drama, you would have jogged on long time ago. You need to recognise, and like I said, their role is to be third dimensional, which means they're in the rat race, they're in the traditions, they're in the belief systems. So what is happening, your twin flame, you, the leader, are here to battle against what you're going to be against. That's what your role is, is to show everyone, no, you've got to live within. So they're giving you someone who you can kind of practice with. Because like I said, I repeat, if they were a soulmate, if they was a friend, you would have jogged on by now. So they're giving you your person who has, quote unquote, the drama, but it's not. It's how you perceive it to be. So you that you recognize, OK, this is, you know, oh, he's so stuck in the third dimension, correct, because of that's what you're here to change, but you just looking at it with your eye frequencies, external vision, thinking, oh, well, he's so, why doesn't he leave her, because he's programmed from belief systems to stay in a traditional marriage, for example, stop looking at that and saying to him or her, get away from that. It's no good for you. That doesn't doesn't roll. To change the someone's mind. And you hear that change their mind is literally a change is taking away something and replacing it with another. The mind is inside. Everything is inside. So you have to change your insides. You can't talk. Words are energetic form that go out into the reality. Anything that you need to change is internally. You change your mind, changes their mind. The only external influence that will be beneficial is by you, them, seeing your changes. There's no words needed. Now, I've had a loads of um, readings lately. I always have loads of readings. Don't know what I'm on about. <laughs> but, okay, I've had more readings that are more tough, more 
I've got to do about the sex as well. Now, the harder it is, is it's kind of like you're pushing against it. You're third dimensional. I don't know how else to say it. If you're pointing the finger, then you're, if you're like, oh, it's so tough, which most are, I'm not saying that. It's so tough and they don't understand it. It's something you need to go within. Because the whole purpose of you being a twin flame is so that you're aligned within. So whatever they do, it doesn't matter. If you're focusing on them, you're still third dimensional. Because some way it's that's what, oh, they're my world. You know, I can't live without you. That's the stuff that soulmate state. You're not supposed to be like that. You're supposed to be on yourself. That person's supposed to be uh, aligned with you. This is twin flame. And then they work on themselves. And then you bo you're both of, as one. The end goal of the twin flame is so that you're happy. You're independent. You're doing the stuff that you love. That will reflect onto your person to then, without words, then go and do what they want to do. And then you're both together without saying anything. You're giving each other freedom, but you're committed to each other at the same time. Then what happens then? Your person will realize, well, I'm always going to her. I might as well marry her. It's kind of like that. You don't have to say anything. If you're thinking I want to marry them, which is quite normal, but it's the incorrect way of doing it. Because eventually your person will think, well, I might as well marry them because of their, their everything. The star card in the um, the tarot, you see. The more I, I, oh, that's why I was saying about the readings. I've had a few emails lately and this is what I, I, I suggest from what I know from them. See, I pause when I say I because it's not from me, it's from consciousness and that's and they're telling me it's important that you know that don't take advice from people that are not channeling it not from 5d not from intuition yeah they say things that is their own um opinions and then unless they're fully aligned they are in um telling you stuff to come away from your alignment. I had a comment today, which I'm going to mention tomorrow, about, yeah, they go on other tarot readers and they put you and they make you not want to do this twin flame journey. Now, you are absolutely supposed to be with your twin flame. The contradiction is, is called the free will experience. Now, that means... In essence, that your person has the free will and you have the free will to choose it, to do this. I've explained, you know, the twin flame. The flame is the actual um, connection. But the experience is called the free will. Now, it doesn't mean that you have the free will to fuck them off. It doesn't mean the free will for him to go shag Sarah Jane and whoever. The actual title in itself which once again, not many say, is a free will experience, meaning free will for you to help people on planet Earth to choose their free will, to do what, live their life. You need to get a concept on what you are doing. The free will, people think they are free. And that's the, why you have the drama. So you are battling this perception of third dimension, of the veil of illusion, because they keep thinking they are free. That's why it's called the free will experience. I don't give a shit how happy you are in a job. I don't care. If someone tells you you have to be there at eight, nine o'clock, that's not your free will. They don't even connect those dots. That's why this journey is so tough. That's why you have the drama. The more drama you have in is if you're not understanding stuff that I'm saying. You're not recognizing it, you see. I've said on another video, they tell you when to have breaks. Free will. You go when you're hungry. How can someone dictate to you when you're hungry? 
We are individual on planet Earth. You are here to do the free will experience. Don't confuse it that it's for you to walk away because you can't. That's why you have the bond, you see. To show everyone you live from your free will. Even the misconception that people will hurt each other. Oh, well, if I just was um, nice to everyone and friendly, people will take the piss. If everyone on this planet followed their bliss and loved everyone well not you know in a lovey-dovey way that's why i'm here because i never actually say i love you do i <laughs> that's intentional because of there's so much i love you love you blah 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 you know so they give me someone like me who is showing you how to do proper love if you lived from your own free will and done what you loved no one would rob no one would steal no one would kill Everyone does that because of to um, get ahead, because they feel they can't not being heard, because they um, feel less than, because um, there's a hierarchy system, they can't get on top. There's a reason for something. You, my twin sister, were different. Go and look in my playlist. We're completely different. Even the appearance, everyone says we're different. Even our family, you know. The only thing we have really is the voice sometimes. Our mum couldn't tell us alike when we was on the phone. Which I cussed her about. Who's this? I'm like, it's your daughter. Which one, anyway? Val should know this because she's got twins. <laughs> Apart from that, we're completely different. Everyone is different. So what I want is not the same as my twin sister. It's not to do, that's important for you to hear this. Because it's not to do with me and her in the womb. It's not called the womb, is it? Anyway, the twin thing, we're born, everyone's perceiving, oh, we look alike, we're the same. It's, this planet isn't of what looks like, it's about alignment. You align with your twin flame. You align with me. You align with people who you resonate with. This planet isn't about, oh, well, if you look like someone, then you fall in love and date them. It's about internal frequency. So you need to know your journey. That's why I'm trying to do more videos. Your person, he is like, or she, is um, totally hasn't got a clue, you are supposed to, that's why I say you don't have to say any words, because the reason for that also is that you are just supposed to be, if you go and tell your person all about twin flame journey, all about I love you so much, I want to be with you and all this kind of thing, you're not here for that, <laughs> that's the end prize for being a twin flame. Then, do you do that with the other humanities that you're supposed to be um, raising their frequency? You're treating him different or her differently than what you're supposed to be, what your mission is on planet Earth. Your mission is purely to be positive, come away from all negative, including your family, and to raise the vibration which raises the frequency on planet earth which is the internal frequency are in and out as above so with it as above so below which will stop the manipulation from the the elite and the illuminati you don't have to go up there and and um what do they do when they have all people and they have the banners up and all this and you know all that kind of thing you don't have to do that you know, you just have to raise your vibration. So if you're going to your person, I love you so much, and I don't understand why we're not together, you're just singling one person. That's not your job. He is there not knowing his role, which he will find out once you're in union. Maybe you can tell him then. That's why I say how special they are. He is there to show you what you need to battle against. I don't know how I'm saying it. I hope you understand this. 
So if you're big saying it to him, are you going to say that to everyone? Then you, someone else comes up to you, oh, I see you're really high vibrational, you're always positive, what do you do? Well, then you've got to go, oh, well, I love you, and, you know, you're not going to have that bond with them. Whatever you're going to do, eventually, will show them how to raise their vibration. So stop narrowing down your person as one target, because it's not about that. If you are saying anything to your person about how you feel, about how they should feel about you, then it's more likely they're running. I've never said to my person I love him. I'm always up on air telling how amazing he is. I've never, I repeat that, said to him I love him. He can feel me. I can feel him. You lot should know. Why are you asking them? I want to give you a kind of a tip what to do when it's like, when it's like the drama. Now, I'm going to do hopefully next week the stages of where you're at in your journey so you can kind of relate because the stages of what you need to do to get push the thing forward to push to push the union forward which means that you're raising the frequency anyway there's things that you have to do so a little tip if they keep running if they keep running then what you're doing is you're doing more of that unless you're aligned if you're on the last stage of your journey and you've done everything, the last stage they kind of run. But they run it because they're, then they're going to sort out their shit to come back. So unless you're on the last stage, what I'm saying uh, is not relevant. But if during when you're with your person and constantly they go ghost, they're, they're, you feel they're rude in it not in like the way that okay I'll put it this way sometimes I used to email my person and I didn't get a reply for a couple of days it pissed me off right but then I'll just sleep on it next day reflect and go back to the email hey how you doing and then say he'll reply later on that day, two days later. If you just angry and reflecting within the two days, you're out of order. It's you. You need to reflect, come back and step back. That's one tip. Because what you're doing is you're just reacting, reacting, reacting. You're not going along the journey. What happened is my person kept doing that right for a while didn't reply say for example for a couple of days so i'll step back breathe in <laughs> you know i get the drama as well <laughs> breathe in and then i felt calm so i'll go back and don't say where have you been for two days did you get my first email reword it right and then this is all i'll tell you why this is important for you to do and then he'll, and then I reply, and then he'll, I'll get something back. And then I noticed that because of I was calming myself down from him not replying, which was his job to calm me down, <laughs> because I was react, I would have been reactional from anger, from expectations that he should reply immediately. Then he replied. So once I realised, well, I didn't actually realise. Once it was like it kind of subconsciously went into the neuralistics that you know okay that's how it is once you're kind of okay with it then what happened then he started replying more regular and um not straight away but you know more regular than the two three days when he did it on a it's not a subconscious on a not knowing your person helps you you see 
If you want your person to say, I love you, you're wanting something external. Nothing external. So if he runs, you're doing wrong. If she runs, you're doing wrong. This is how you judge how much you should give to your person. If they're not saying jack shit to you romantically in that, then you shouldn't be saying jack shit to them. Soulmates, oh, well, they're, you know, if they can't confess their love, they have inner issues, and maybe their person didn't say, you know, they, they don't know how to love, so you show them that love. Your twin flame, you do it differently. If he's not showing it, you can say things like, I, with my person, I say, oh, miss you long time, you know, kind of in a different way. Because what you're doing, if you're having someone, your person, right, has never felt this bond before. They're thick in this 3D Illuminati bubble, right? Then you come bush with this twin flame. The masculines are not the feelers. They're more, they're, they're inherited from birth to be the fixers and on the sex frequency. That's it. That's this planet Earth male, right? That's what they're like. That's why my soulmate relationship counseling is about the sex. Because you lot don't need to know about the sex because the sex with your person you know, it's just fabulous, right? If you haven't had sex, you know from the passion you feel from the person that the sex will be great. Soulmates don't have that. That's an indication you're twin flame. That's why on my relationship website, if you go over there, sophiacharles.co.uk, it has is targeted for men and for sex. No other counsellors talk about the sex. Because the soulmates don't necessarily know how to do the sex. And the sex is important in a, in a relationship. But a twin flame, you don't have to know about it. So I teach soulmates about sex. That's why I say the sex is really important. But you lot are confusing it. Oh, he just wants me for sex. If all you have to do is understand that you're twin flame. Everything he does. If he... If you, the sex, don't worry about it. I, I'm going to try to get that out. But like I said, things keep coming, which is more important at this point of time that's relevant. So I'm trying to tell you about that. You two are, are here to um, raise the frequency and come out of negativity. You do the work, but in essence, what your person is doing is he's in this third dimensional bubble, right? He's with all the people, drinking, doing drugs, um, the cheating. I don't even like to talk about that because that's not even relevant. Us women get emotional and pulled towards, oh, my person's do cheating more than the addiction. The addiction is a chemical in the brain that is harder to get rid of than the actual person he's sleeping with. He's looking for you. He's looking for that sexual bond which he has with you. So that's that's an, that that can be replaced. That's not even the issue. The drugs which will come away once he's aligned. So he's in here with his mates doing drugs, doing cocaine, uh, doing all this with this person in some shit. Burdens. You see, ten of wands, right? And then you're aligning over here. You're doing the work. No words, you're aligning, you're aligning, you're meeting when he can, no words, no pressure. The more you don't say to them, come see me, come do this, when do you want to see me? They come towards you. I can promise you that. I can guarantee that. I can guarantee that. The more you back off, the more they come towards you. So he... Th this is what I'm saying with your person. He's over here with all this drama, all this third dimension, in the rat race. Everyone, he's got to, this is his role, right? With all these people around him, doing all these drugs. Then he's aligning with you, coming towards you, coming towards you. And the next thing, see ya, I'm gone. Then 
his people what happened what happened so he will then teach them look i followed my bliss he's te he has to be around the third dimension so he can show them as well that's his thing he doesn't know that he doesn't know that but you have to learn the steps to align with him so he comes away from it if he comes away from it now who's he teaching He's not teaching anybody anything. So he has to stay in that. And you have to learn to steady your emotions. To know that, okay, well, yeah, he's going to come away from that. He generally has kids. So he'll go back to the kids. So he'll still go back to the people and be happy. And they were looking at him. What happened to him? He used to be doing drugs. He used to do this. He used to be that. So he'll still be visiting the family. Still be doing the things that... He used to do, but a different person once you're aligned. And they will feel his energy and see him as a different person or her as a different person and then learn from him. If he comes towards you, like literally moves in with you, he ain't really doing jack shit. <laughs> you need to understand the dynamics. That's why it's called dynamics. <laughs> you know, um, the science behind it it's so deep like I said you don't really know and I don't know why no one says anything they just follow each other I don't know why other people don't say that and I started off just kind of telling you what to do but I'm trying to tell you so you understand so when you're in the drama really what's going on with your person so tip and this is a huge fucking tip you don't need to tell them how you feel. That's really important. Why? Because it pushes them away. Why? Because they haven't felt a bond like that. They don't know what to do with it. They don't know what to do with it. And then they might say something like, oh, it's just sex, you know, or we just want, I just want to be friends because they feel embarrassed to say, Oh, I've got, I, I feel this really deep bond. I'm connecting to you and I'm having dreams about you. I'm seeing one, 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 one. You know, they are not going to tell you that. They're third dimensional, third dimensional. Don't, if they felt like that, you go and talk to someone about how you feel as a twin flame. And you tell me if they understand it. So how the fuck can your person understand it if he's third dimensional? He doesn't understand what's going on. So you're going to him, I feel this really deep connection. I don't know what's going on. The energies are aligning. He doesn't know. It's his job not to know because your job is to do, deal with people who don't know. Practice on him. He feels the love. You don't need to fucking tell him. I keep telling you. If you're doing it, talking... It's not going to work. It's not going to work. You need to step back. Step back. Totally go right back and stop talking. If he just says, my person is a one-liner. I call him one-liner in his email. And I wouldn't actually say it's a line. Half a line in an email. I, he doesn't phone me. And we don't do texting. Now, texting, uh, that's my fault, really, because I don't really text on the phone. It's purely emails. The fuck you lot want to talk and all that on the phone for? I don't know. Anyway, one-liner. So I try to match his. But you know I waffle. I can literally re send him pages and pages and pages. If he sends half a line, I try to limit it to two. And that's hard for me. That's what you got to do. You're fucking sending them pages of shit. Ghost. That's what they do. Then they go ghost. My person goes ghost and I try to do two lines. <laughs> you match them. If they're not saying they love you, you don't fucking tell them you love them. And it's not like, well, I'm not going to tell you I, I love you. You know, you don't need to. You don't need to. Oh, well, I'm worried if he doesn't love me. 
Well, I tell you what, you look into his eyes. You can see. If they don't look at you, that means that they're a twin flame anyway. Because they can feel you, you see. If they don't, if they look away, if you never have your person looking at you, that means when they look at you, they, it's like an instant connection of your internal, which is the bond, and they don't know what to do with it. They don't know what to do with it. So that's why they don't look at you. And if they do, you will feel the bond. So why are you talking? You're not going to be a person. You are a teacher. You're not here to talk to every individual on planet Earth. You are here to align with them, which will connect on the frequency, energetic form. You're thinking, you're, like I said, it's like one to ten. So you're going to be talking to everyone? No. That's why they're teaching you. That's why he runs. When you talk too much, when you email too much, they run. When you're in their business, if you know too much about their business, they run. They might sit there and you might say, oh, Sophia, he told me everything. Only if you ask. You're not supposed to know jack shit. Why, once again, use them as, uh, as what you are here to do. The twin flame journey, because you are hitting many you're not going to go up to everyone and ask about what's going on with your situation, what's going on in your life, what's going on with your family. That's why they run. Because they're trying to tell you you don't need to know jack shit. You just need to raise your frequency. So they give you someone that they run, but you still like, oh, shit, I want to be with them. They keep running. Duh, duh, duh. What am I supposed to do? Because they're telling you to shut the fuck up. I don't know how else to say it. I don't know jack shit about my person. I keep telling you lot. You lot think I'm doing, you know, great or I'm something and I'm amazing. But I keep telling you, if you want a relationship like me, I don't know jack shit about my person. I was talking to my, um, my son's dad a little bit. I talked to him now and again. And... And I, and I slipped out, which I don't normally, but like, I don't deal with humans. <laughs> it sounds weird, but it's true. Because of, um, I get so pulled into their lies. They're lying, they're lying, and they're hurt. And I can't deal with it all the time, so I come away. So I'm very much isolated, which is fine. I've always been isolated. I was talking to him, and I slipped up, and I said, oh, my person, I don't know um, his address. What, what, what? Well, he's on the phone. What do you mean you don't know? Oh, I went out with someone who I didn't know the address. That was well dodgy. Da, 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 da. Do you see what I mean? I was like, oh my God. They don't get it. Soulmates don't get it. So all I've got to do is raise the frequency. Raise the frequency. Raise the frequency. If not, you've got to be talking to everyone and explaining the whole dynamics to everyone. You're not here to talk. So they're trying to stop you from fucking talking by giving you someone who you're not supposed to fucking talk about. I have an email, my person's doing this and that and this and this and that and that and this and that and that. Why do you know so much? You're supposed to just chill and relax with your person. Chillax with them. That's all you're supposed to do with them. You're not supposed to be going and finding about their life. If you want to know about their life, that means you're going to want to try to help them. You're not supposed to do that. I used to try to think of things because I'm a marketer. Well, I used to be, but I still am, I? You know, so my person said he wanted to be self-employed. So I was like, oh, okay, I, I, I can get anyone to page one on Google. I know all SEO, everything like that. And I tried to help at the beginning. Later on, I was like, no, he needs to be where he's at. There's nothing I can say. I always say to him, if you need my help, you can ask. They don't ask because they're traditional. They're traditional, which is hence third dimension. Outdated belief systems. 
I laugh with him. I say, oh my gosh, you're, you're so outdated in your belief systems. It's unreal, but a joke. I don't sit there and tell him about Twin Flame. Look how many people I, I, I help. I'm a Twin Flame advisor. I've got a Twin Flame and I don't talk to him about jack shit. So why are you not talking to them? <laughs> why? You're not supposed to do that. Like I said, a tip, and it's a massive tip. If you, I'm going to give you an example. Say they've gone ghost, right? You haven't heard from them for a while. <sighs> How long? Was... You just email them, like I said to Erica, and Erica emailed me today. Erica is someone who booked a reading, and um, I can't remember when she done it. Then she said there's no communication, so I'm helping her, and he's communicating, he's communicating, so I said, tell me every time he communicates, because of, um, I don't want any of you lot to fuck up, because you get so over, it's like, I heard from him for a month, and then boom, vomit on them, with words, and scares the shit out of them, and then they run again, do you know what I mean, literally, short. Sure short as fuck i don't care if you saw your person and he walked past you i don't know if you see them regularly and you ain't heard from me ghost if you just wave all right and you walked on i guarantee you'll get a text the next day saw you how are you what you would do oh my gosh there he is and you'll go up to him how's work how's this how's that then they run you limit it you say as little as possible to your person. You do not need to know anything because you're not supposed to know everything about everyone. You're just here to raise your vibration. So if you haven't heard from them for a while, just, I normally try to think of an excuse. Um, say it's Valentine's, you know, not Valentine's, I love you, the person for me. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh it's valentine's thought of you hope you're cool kiss out that's it nothing else don't expect expect a reply in fact if you leave it then he'll figure out because he'll he'll think he'll think of your oh i'll wait for her i won't reply and i bet she's gonna bug me did you get my text did you why aren't you replied if you leave it then he will reply. Shit, this is different. She hasn't replied. When he replies, you just short. I don't know how else to say it. You've got to keep it short. Short. Don't tell them all the deep. You're making them feel uncomfortable. I remember I was going out with someone. That sounds so old school, going out with someone. <laughs> I was dating someone. He kept telling me he loved me. I wasn't in love with him. It was so intimidating. It's not saying that your person was is not in love with you. It's just like, like I said, they haven't got a fucking clue. You're like a superstar. You are a fucking superstar. But it's like you dating a famous person. It's so, it's like, it's a different level. I'm not saying you're um, higher level than your person. You're both fucking superstars. But that's how he kind of sees you. You visualize someone who you, which you shouldn't really have people who you idol on television. I like Clint Eastwood, you know what I mean, he's fucking amazing, but dating someone who you think of like a thing, it's a, a famous person, it's like, without them the fame, but it's like, you know, you just feel different, oh, I'm, there, I'm not good enough, how come I'm dating them, they're going to go with someone else because they're so, you know, famous, that's how he feels with you. Then when you're saying I love you, da 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 they just don't believe it. Why is she saying that? If I say it, will it sound stupid because I ain't on the level of her? They haven't got their pentacles. So much. So much. And the thing is, both of you are insecure. Twin Flame is about insecurities. And the insecurities is part of the free will experience, which is the twin flame. Because if you wasn't insecure, you wouldn't follow the fucking elite, the elite system and secret societies. 
you wouldn't do it because you just follow the trend literally they can go onto the television and the Illuminati get together in their in their perverted little circle and they say how can we squeeze some money out of these fucking idiots let's be clear that's what they think we are fucking idiots and okay let's put out a tax if they leave their bins outside more for that than a day and let's pretend that it's a hazard to other people because they walk past and a child could have tw uh, trip over the bin that's left on the pavement do you know what I mean and they pull it on the news and then you lot well everyone will say oh yeah that's true that's such a hazard and, and just pay it that's that's what they do. That's how stupid pe um, they think of us, and people actually fall for it. And you know what they will say? It is what it is. It's not what it is. This planet is a free will planet. That's why this is. That's why it's called the free will experience for twin flames. Not your free will to be in it, because you can't come away from it. You can't lose your twin. All this cutting the cord business. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't want to go there with that. You need to say no to stuff like that. But people are not hearing it. They're not hearing it. They're like, no, that, that's how it's going to be. Or I'm going to get in jail. You know, the TV license and all this stupidness. How much they earn. The tax on the insurance on a car. Oh, you get insurance on the car. It, you pay a certain amount, I don't drive, I've got to drive, but I work from home, obviously, so I don't go anywhere, and half my family are dead, and the other half, I, they, they won't understand me, <laughs> so I, I don't see family, I've cut off, insurance on a car, I can't remember, say it's a like £100 a month, £40 a month, I don't know, oh, that is because, in case you have an accident, I've had one accident, and that was in icy snow weather, which I don't watch the telly, so it, I just went, and then it came icy, and I was like, oh, probably the one time in my entire life I should have known, watched it to know that it was going to be snowing, but it didn't matter, because I just fixed the fucking car, because I skidded and I hit the, the side, smashed up the car. My point. So the entire life journey, you pay this £40 for the one time that you might have a fucking accident. Why don't you just pay it when you have the accident? They're ripping people off and no one's doing the dots, you see. That's why you're not supposed to be talking because no one's hearing it. I could literally say that to someone and they would just look at me in a gazed, confused face of, well, it's the government. you got to, everyone pays it. They're lost. That's why twin flames are important. Because of they know that all you have to do is raise your frequency. And that will get them out of it. Now this video is getting long, so I'm going to stop it here. The last thing I want to say is that by, there's not a lot of us. And there's a massive indication of that. Because like I said, you raising your frequency alone, you're aligned on that higher match, let alone the sex, you can um, raise a community. So they don't need loads of twin flames because you are so fucking amazing that that's the intention, that we don't need billions of us because of this planet's frequency is alignment. That's an indication how special you are. You need to focus on the twin flame journey. The dynamics, the science, that's why I bring out different cards, because of, so that you know, um, I tell you about where to align, it's to do with, you know, yin and yang, I have the symbols, I show you the frequencies within my cards, I don't just do, I don't just pick cards that are from um, the other decks, I have to literally, when I'm getting a new deck, I have to really fill them, fill the uh, pictures and stuff like that. So that you can see in your journey, look, this is what he has to do. He has to balance it out. I try to tell you what's going on with your person that way more so you know and understand it. But generally, they're thick in it. And the drama is so that because you need to understand if you're not getting full with your person, that's that's reality. 
you're not going to get through. And that's what they're trying to show you. If you can't get through to someone that totally loves you, that's this battle on planet Earth. We're not listening. You're fucking amazing. They know it. I kid you not. I done a reading with v Veronica. I think it was Veronica. She looks amazing, really pretty. She's got some wicked tattoos. And he knows it without a shadow of a doubt. But you lot are waiting for him to say it. He knows it. He knows it. They know it. But they're intimidated by how you are so fucking amazing. So they're used to the third dimension drama. So they come up, so they, they pull back. There's nothing wrong with the friend line. I want to say that as well. See, oh my God. The friend line is, I haven't got a label on my relationship. I haven't got a label on it. So, you know, I'm not dating him or I don't see, I don't know his family, let alone see his family. I know what his title of his job is. I don't know where he works. I ask him what's going on. That's it. You need to cut back on knowing so much in everyone's business. You're a twin flame. We're not about in everyone's business. We're in about, we're on about just feeling people. That's all you have to do. Friends is fine. You might think from third dimensional, and I was confused with it as well, the sex, well, this is friends with benefits. No, you're a twin flame. If you're like, well, I want him to say he loves me, then I won't feel like I'm a friends with benefits. You know you're twin flame. Twin flame don't have friends with benefits. Friends with benefits is soulmate. That's sex. That's friends with benefits. You can't be friends with benefits. You can't. You, it's an impossibility. All you've got to do is just step back a line and just like, yeah, okay. If you do that, then you can start saying to them things like that. If you say it initially, it's friends with benefits and you're, yeah, rah, 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 they won't get it. They won't understand it. You have to do it correctly for them to understand. Yeah, I see what she's saying now. And you will get to the point. Like I said, you step back, you think about it the next day, and then you just reply. Um, it was nice you coming round. That's all I put. I put catch you laters. If you get an email from me, I normally like catch you laters. I, put, I send it to him. Thanks for coming. Catch you laters. That's no pressure. Do you put that? Or... Will I see you weekend? Will I see you this? I'll see you, you know, I'll see you soon. I don't even put soon because that's a, that's an, um, that's a, uh, like for him to feel like, oh, when soon? Soon, tomorrow is soon, you know, nothing to make your person feel to come to you will make them come to you more. I can, I can 100% guarantee that. So if you haven't had communication with them, just put a little text. How's you? I'm telling you. And if they reply, don't reply straight away. You reply four or five hours later and then leave it. I don't care if they keep continually replying to you. You keep it short. If you've booked a reading with me and you're out of communication and you do what I say, then you can email me. And then I'll, like I'm doing with Erica, I'm helping her to get back on track. Well, she's on track anyway. He totally adores you and loves you. You're just confusing it. I repeat for you lot to understand. My person is the same as you lot. Absolutely the same. Just because of I know about it, he doesn't know anything about what I do. He doesn't know anything about... I. I in fact, see, I'm waffling. I said to him, I see energy. Because he's third dimensional. So he said, well, what do you mean? I said, I see these squiggles. I actually, it's like a car. If you go behind the car, the exhaust fumes. 
see i don't know if i'm seeing that or it actually sees but if you look at the exhaust fumes it's kind of like squiggly that's what it, i see as energy so i said to him i see these squiggles and he said to me well maybe you need to go to the opticians <laughs> so i said to him now i see it when my eyes are closed and he went that's it this is the max of the conversation that I talk to him about the shit that I go deep hardcore with you lot about. That's my twin flame. Don't know where he lives. Don't know where he works. I don't know his family. I don't know his baby mums. Don't know Jack. Never met none of them. Nothing. I tell you when he comes, we just chill. I haven't got a title. I don't tell him I love him. He hasn't told me he loves me. In case you lot are thinking that, you know, it's it's not right. No, I, I felt the same as you. It's just that I'm aligned now. I'm aligned now. And so is he. And so is he. So, that's it. I'm going to do another video in a minute. I'm going to do some cards now. Um... The cards are going to be individual star signs. So um, hopefully I've addressed loads of um, the questions and stuff that, I've, sorry, I've got in the emails. Thank you very much again to Valerina for the images. I hope they're okay, <laughs> that I've put it up there. <laughs> See, I've got to do that mission. I don't know if that's her mission, but... You, this is a mission anyway, you know, so get on with that. So um, thanks for listening and speak to you later.